Whenever we walk in this life, there is always a path from where we are to where we want to be or need to be. Radiant Wisdom Tarot provides guidance that will help you find your path in any situation and know how to walk it with grace and happiness. Radiant Wisdom Tarot presents a multicultural, celebratory, practical, and spiritual approach to life. It's created on the foundation of ancestral wisdoms from our many cultures, and it energizes the future with assurance that all experiences can be lived in beauty and harmony. The suit of bridges is a unique aspect of this deck. This new suit in the Minor Arcana is a roadmap to successful manifestation, providing a bridge between inspired intention and physical plane results. The cards in this suit can be read alone or mixed in to the rest of the deck. Another special part of this deck is its focus on supporting the creative process. Each card's definition includes information about how to support creativity. This information is useful for quickly moving through creative blockages and for supporting creative thinking in any situation where it's needed or desired. There is also detailed information about how to work with your body energy in ways that help you live the wisdom of each card. Providing your body with this type of energetic support will assist you in achieving your goals while expanding your quality of life. Tarot is one of my favorite tools for learning and or remembering how to live lovingly and opening spiritual consciousness to extraordinary levels. In addition to any readings you may do for others, I highly recommend that you read for yourself. Doing your own readings is a wonderful way to expand your personal access to wisdom. May your journey be blessed in all ways. Although readers sometimes prefer to receive readings from someone else, we're all capable of doing excellent readings for ourselves, in most circumstances. The key to doing this well is our willingness to be objective and fully honest with ourselves about our own lives. Be willing to fully embrace yourself. Readings help us access our full consciousness, and this means that we'll sometimes see things about ourselves that are not so pleasant or flattering. Be willing to be present and loving to all of who you are, and this will help you experience these insights as positive and empowering. Work with your limitations. You won't be completely objective about everything in your life, especially when your emotions are deeply engaged. When you know that you're dealing with a situation that overwhelms you, is emotionally loaded for you, repeatedly creates struggles for you, or you'd rather not deal with, getting a reading from someone else will probably be more productive than doing a reading for yourself. Expand your objectivity. One of the easiest ways to become more objective when reading about your own life is to read as if you're reading for someone else. If your reading is unclear, doesn't lead you to resolution, or keeps you engaged in patterns that undermine your well-being, you're looking at the situation through a perspective that holds you in confusion. Take a break for an hour or more. After that, do another reading on the same topic, and this time, pretend the seeker is someone you don't know at all. What will you say to the stranger seeking wisdom from you? Remember, accurate readings always help you live lovingly. Give yourself permission to know. If you don't get clear answers when reading for yourself, the blockage may not be your skill as a reader. The blockage may be that you're not fully willing to consciously know the answers to your questions. Most of us have personal dynamics or situations in which we prefer some temporary confusion, denial, or avoidance because it serves us well for a short time. When this becomes an unconscious process, we tend to expand it into areas of life where it doesn't serve us well. Try assuming that somewhere along the line you decided to be confused instead of clear. Then, for the next several times that you do a reading, begin with a few minutes of quiet meditation, followed by telling yourself out loud something to the effect of, I give my mind permission to know the answers to the questions I'll be reading about. Speaking out loud the first few times you give yourself permission to know your answers 
will align your body with your intentions much more quickly than if you silently think the words. Create uninterrupted time. When reading for someone else, the reader sets aside time to focus completely on the seeker. When reading for yourself, you need to do the same level of attention. Do your own readings when you can stop everything else for a while and be fully present to you and whatever is on your mind. Explore freely. One of the joys of reading for yourself is that you can ask as many questions as you're inspired to, and no question is too insignificant if you're interested in exploring it. Readings will often generate more questions, possibilities, or intriguing ideas. Readings about the things that arise from your original reading can take you on some delightfully inspiring journeys into layers of consciousness you may have never before accessed or been aware existed. Laughing Woman Oshono Sheni is dedicated to helping her clients revitalize their lives, practice clear communication, and resolve life challenges. She has been empowering people from around the world for over 40 years with her personal sessions. However, if you prefer to work independently, invest in her books and courses. They provide specific tools for an even more fulfilling life a deeper awareness of your spiritual self, and creating conscious abundance anytime and anywhere. Go to laughingwoman.com for more information. L-A-U-G-H-I-N-G-W-O-M-Y-N dot com.